I often thought about it. Why do so many predictable villains appear in post-apocalyptic stories? It must be the laziness of the authors to think that crimes such as rape or theft would occur indiscriminately in such a situation. If the real destruction came, wouldn't humans act more rationally than they thought? Looks like you won't give it. Hey, go ahead and kill him. The answer was right now in front of me. I observed the men coming towards me, as well as the man watching from the rear. The constellation, deemed like Judge of Fire, expects a fair judgment. I once again realized it. The human imagination was cliché, yet real humans were more cliché than the imagination. The trajectory of the iron pipe moved in a funny manner through the air. It wasn't a strike with the intent to kill. In fact, it didn't hurt that much. If you don't run away, then you'll die. Get lost. The four men surrounded me. One was trembling, but the others looked more relaxed than before. It was probably due to the advantage of numbers. What are these brats doing? Along with that shout, one man rushed forward. It was clearly a defenseless posture. I moved the thorn. Oh, oh, my leg, my leg. You bastard. Hit him together. The agitated men rushed simultaneously, but I wasn't afraid. Their strength levels were just about five. I endured the coming attacks and silently stabbed the thorn. The men had their thighs successively pierced and fell to their knees with a scream. Nevertheless, I didn't kill them. It was because the scenario clear condition was to neutralize them. The constellations of the absolute good system not at your judgment. A few constellations laugh at your humanity. The constellations have sponsored you to hundred coins. If I became a murderer, I might be able to attract the attention of the constellations, but it was only for a while. Instantly raising the threshold of stimulation wasn't good in the long run. There were three minutes till the end of the scenario. Two minutes had passed. Time calculation was important in time attack scenarios. What the hell is this bastard? Why won't you die? At this time, the leader who was watching the situation from the back came forward. Everyone back off. I'll deal with him. Cho Su Hung him. This guy seems to have a pretty strong sponsor. Good. Looks like he had a lot of coins. Knuckles shine with a black gloss. They weren't ordinary iron knuckles. Did he receive it from his sponsor? There was a relaxed sound of bones cracking from the knuckled hands. The character Cho Su has used Threaten. Threaten doesn't work because the overall capabilities gap is too big. Huh. <laughs> Aren't you quite good? You aren't getting scared at all. The man's fist moved before he finished talking. The attack was aimed directly at my jaw. I quickly stepped back. That guy smiled. <laughs> aren't you quite good? Do you exercise? Even if I didn't have a footwork skill, anyone could do this if their agility exceeded level 10. Since I previously invested most of my remaining coins after buying items, the total sum of my body stats now reached 33. Should I look at this guy? The exclusive skill, characterless, is activated. Character information. Bang Chao Su. Age 34. Constellation sponsor, Monica the Small Fries. Private attribute, Assault Force Captain, General. Exclusive skills, Dogfight level 2, Bluff level 2, Stigma, Threaten level 1. Overall stats, Physique level 6, Strength level 7, Agility level 6, Magic Power level 2. Overall evaluation, a common small fry who was lucky to obtain a sponsor. He has a tendency to overstate his abilities compared to his actual combat strength. Ah, right. Now I remembered. Bang Chosu of the Chodu group. What? You know me? Let's see. My memory was dim because he disappeared like the wind at the beginning of the work, but I fuzzily recalled there was a character called Bang Chao Su. He was the stupidest guy in the group at the Genmu station. As far as I knew, these guys should have been killed by Yu Zhonghok. Why were they still alive? <laughs> Perhaps you're of that category? You must have killed people, isn't that right? Yes, I feel we're somewhat alike. The character Bang Chao Su used Bluff. Bluff. It was a skill that anyone who was a thug possessed. It was a good debuff that could weaken the opponent's attack power, but the case was different. Fourth wall has blocked the bluff of character Bang Chao Su. The confidence of the character Bang Chao Su was rapidly falling. Are you an army? You really want to die? Bang Chao Su took a threatening Greco-Roman wrestling posture and rushed towards me, but that was only a bluff. It's because he didn't have the wrestling skill. Stop being around the bush and come on. Son of a bitch! The key skill that Bang Chao Su was had was dogfight level 2. His compact power was insignificant unless he got into a melee. Die! The agility difference was so high that his attacks rarely hit me. I looked at him with a bit of sympathy. Not all constellations had a desire to raise their incarnations as the protagonists of the scenario. For example, his constellation, Monica the Small Fries, was famous for being thrifty with his incarnations. A masochist who enjoyed using idiots as his incarnation and watching them be crushed by other incarnations. This was the monarch of the small fries. The constellation monarch of the small fries is delighted. The constellation monarch of the small fries has bonded you to 100 coins. Despite his incarnation being smashed, he was supporting the enemy. Originally, I was thinking about ending the time attack in one blow, but now the story was a bit different. 
There are two minutes until the end of the scenario. Should I make the most of the remaining time? You rat bastard! All of his lines were in the style of the monarch of the small fries. How pitiful. Ha! <laughs> I hit you! His attack luckily hit, but there was little damage. The spot where I was hit just stung a bit. How? How? My physique was level 12. His strength was only level 7. The disparity in overall stats created a huge combat power gap. Is it my turn now? I touched the cheek of the stupefied Bang Chosu before hitting it as hard as I could. A few teeth flew out as Bang Chosu screamed. I didn't hesitate and I just pierced his arm with the thorn. <laughs> I pinned one of his arms to the wall with the thorn and started the indiscriminate assault. I chose the areas that were the most painful without knocking him out, such as the back, thighs, and side. The Constellation Monarch of Small Fries is delighted. The Constellation Monarch of Small Fries has requested an extension of the sub scenario time. The sub scenario's time is extended by one minute. I paid attention to the parts where the woman had been injured. <coughs> Blood and flesh was scattered. Broken teeth fell to the floor and the broken bones twisted abnormally. However, I didn't stop kicking. <laughs> stop! Please! Let young Nim go! The men standing to the side exclaimed with panic. I looked over at them once in a while. Then I looked at the half-naked woman lying on the ground. Humans were weak. How could such weak humans do such cruel things? They used the excuse of the world being destroyed. They killed, raped women, and stole from others. Was it because of instincts? I was suddenly curious as I saw Bang Chul Su's eyes stained with fear in front of the stronger violence. Why did you do it? It was a question out of nowhere. In fact, I didn't expect an answer to this question, but the moment I was about to kick him again, Bang Chao Su opened his eyes. Fuck! Just kill me, you son of a bitch! The moment I saw his eyes, I knew he had answered my question in his own way. A look that didn't show any lingering attachment to life. Yeah, it wasn't because of instincts. Bang Chao Su talked in a voice that was subsiding. Dog, this dog-like world. <laughs> this was a guy who had been despairing long before this world was destroyed. Just like me. There are ten seconds left at the end of the sub-scenario. I didn't delay any further and gave a strong kick to the neck. The breath was knocked out of him and Bang Chao Su finally fainted. You've met the conditions to clear the sub-scenario. You've earned 300 coins. I hope you're all happy. Constellation Monica the Small Fries is satisfied and has sponsored you 100 coins. The other men crawled and approached me one by one. <laughs> how, how cruel. They all looked at Bang Chao Su who had been turned into a rag and then up at me with fear. It was like they were dogs waiting to be disposed of at a slaughterhouse. I picked up the collapsed woman and the convenience store bags. In any case, the world had been destroyed and I had to live a new life. Take me where the group is. Gyumho Station was originally a place that would grow into the region's base after it was organized by Yu Zhonghok. In his first regression, Yu Zhonghok broke through the second main scenario with the Gyumho Station group, allowing the people of the group to occupy a place in the new era. Even so, that was the first round. By the third round of regression, Yu Zhonghok was different. In the third turn, Yu Zhokong was a monster who monopolized everything. Even so, he was someone who would do the basic cleanup. Huh? The man got me was surprised. I'm just talking to myself. It's a habit. The Constellation Secret of Potter likes your monologues. Yes, uh, anyway, uh, th this way. The men of the Chengdu group, who were supporting each other, stopped moving. We descended to the bottom of the dark platform and found a place where there was still light. Heard the buzzing sound of people that went as we went down the stairs. The Chaldu group! People are hurt! Some people rushed over to support Bang Chao Su's group. It was more of a system than I thought since people were moving in an orderly fashion. In the meantime, I saw familiar faces run over. Oh my god! Dokshashi! Dokshashi! Fortunately, looks like nothing happened. I greeted the person. Yusangashi. I'm glad. Really, I'm glad. Yusangha stood in front of me with a happy expression. I was startled and offered an awkward handshake. There were a lot of scrapes on the back of Yu Sang-ha's hand, showing she had suffered quite a hard time in the past four days. I heard a sound and something became attached to my leg. You're alive! It was Li Gyung-hong. I shook the boy's head and said, Have you been well? Li Gyung-hong nodded. He must be hungry since his cheeks were really thin. I pulled out a chocolate bar from the bag and placed it in Li Gyung-hong's hand. I knew you were alive, Dr. Ha! <laughs> Finally, I looked at Li hyung sung The muscles of his upper half seemed to have become more solid. Maybe Lee Hyung Sung had protected these two. I'm really sorry. At the time I left Dr. Shi, it was an unavoidable situation. Whew. I'm really glad that Yu Zhong Hok Shi was right. Yu Zhong Hok. Why was that name here? Lee Hyung Sung noticed after a moment and said, Yu Zhong Hok said that Dr. Shi was probably alive. Where is Yu Zhong Hok now? 
he isn't here now. Not here? Yu Zhongok Shi left the station yesterday, so I could determine many things before Lee Hyung Sung finished speaking. I see. He was truly like that. He was a person in a rush. That reminds me, there is one more person. Huh, the department head. Yu Sung I didn't finish speaking because a group of men suddenly intruded. Nonetheless, it was a good thing. Everyone out of the way! I didn't have to hear the explanation to see what happened straight away. Three or four men armed with a pipe or hammer started to surround me. There was a familiar face among them. You! Hong Myung-ho abandoned me on the even bridge, and now he looked like he'd seen a ghost. Hong Myung-ho must have joined this group. Get rid of this guy! He's a very bad person! He shouldn't be here! A thief was always the one who felt pins and needles. Hong Myung-ho started exclaiming wildly. However, I noticed that the other men looked at each other and didn't easily move. There was something weird. Hong myung was placed in the center, yet they didn't listen to him? <laughs> Hong Hyung, everyone should get along, so why don't you stop? Uh, that... You're a new person. The men split apart to the sides and a path was formed. A slim man appeared among them. I could tell just by looking in his eyes. This guy had a sponsor. Nice to meet you. Can I ask what your name is? Kim Dokcha. Dokcha she, I see. I'm Chonino. Chonino? It felt like a name I should remember. I inserted the strength of the hand holding the thorn. He looked like this guy was the leader of the Cheldo group. He lost half of his men to me, so he came here to make trouble. Heard the story from those that you came with. You fought a monster and saved my group members? What? Everyone, please gather. We have a brave new group member. At Chonino's words, people started to turn this way, one by one. It was at that moment that I knew. It was impossible for the charisma of Kan Myongo to gather this much power. Chonino was the real leader of this bunch. Ah, it's food! Hungry guys fell in the convenience store bags. Then Chonino spoke like if he had been waiting. He delivered it to us. He's a good person. The words made all the eyes look at me like I was a savior. The mother holding the child and the elder man who hurt his leg were looking at me earnestly. Chonino. I seem to remember. Yeah, there's this guy in the Gamma Station group. Constellation Secret of Potter is excited. In this ruined world, the real danger wasn't people like Bang Chosu. Humans moving while feeling despair weren't the least bit dangerous to me. The really dangerous people were those who used the despair of others as a fertilizer for power, just like this guy. Welcome to Gamho Station, Kim Dokchashi. Chonino was laughing on the inside while gazing at me. He chuckled while shaking my hand. Chonino would never know. At this moment, his future had been decided.